ज मन राम कृष्ण जय बोलो 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 राम कृष्ण जय राधे कृष्ण जय राम कृष्ण जय न जय राम कृष्ण जय राध कृष्ण जय राम कृष्ण जय राध कृष्ण जय राम कृष्ण जय बोलो राम कृष्ण जय बोलो मज मन राम कृष्ण जय बोलो गोकुल भूषण राम 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 माधव गोविंद श्याम 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 गोकुल भूषण राम 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 माधव गोविंद श्याम 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 गोकुल भूषण राम 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 माधव गोविंद श्याम 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 गोकुल भूषण राम 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 माधव गोविंद श्याम 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 गोकुल भूषण राम 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 माधव गोविंद श्याम 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 हरे राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे राम 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 राम कृष्ण जय बोलो बोलो भज मन राम कृष्ण जय बोलो राम कृष्ण जय राध कृष्ण जय कृष्ण जय राम कृष्ण जय राध कृष्ण जय कृष्ण जय राम कृष्ण जय बोलो रघुकुल भूषण राम 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 माधव गोविंद श्याम 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 गोकुल भूषण राम 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 माधव गोविंद श्याम 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 हरे राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे राम राम हरे राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम हरे राम हरे राम कृष्ण जय बोलो ओम श्री राम कृष्ण भगवान की Yes. 
सवरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सवरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सवरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सवरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सवरिया रे सवरिया रे ऊपर असवारी रे सावरिया ऊपर सवारी रे सावरिया तेरा गरुद ऊपर असवारी रे सावरिया तेरा गरुद ऊपर सवारी सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया रे सावरिया रे चक्र दारी रे सावरिया तो शंख चक्र दारी रे सावरिया तो शंख चक्र दारी रे सावरिया तो शंख चक्र सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया रे सावरिया रे हर दुखिया नरक वाला रे सावरिया हर दुखिया नरक वाला रे सावरिया तो हर दुखिया नरक वाला रे सावरिया हर दुखिया नरक वाला रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया 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 सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया रे सावरिया रे सावरिया रे सावरिया तो हर दुखी नरक वाला रे सावरिया तो हर दुखी नरक वाला रे सावरिया तो हर दुखी नरक वाला रे सावरिया तो सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया पीतांबर दारी रे सावरिया 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 ओम श्री राम कृष्ण
Krishna, Bhagavan Niki Jai, Pavana Sutta Hanuman Niki Jai, Shri Rambe Rambe Mataki Jai, Shri Krishna Kanya I meditate on Akchita, Keshava, the Lord of Satyabhama, the abode of Lakshmi, the destroyer of Kamsa, the bearer of the flute, the son of Devaki and Nanda. Revered Pravrajika Ishtaprana Mataji and loving devotees of Sri Krishna, Om Namo Narayanaya. The path of bhakti or devotion is said to be the easiest and most effective route to the divine. Devotion as a path to experience our divine nature is described in the Upanishads itself and speaks about the importance of self-surrender. He who has supreme devotion for God and for the teacher, to him verily all things will reveal themselves. Swami Vivekananda admires Prahlad's famous prayer from the Vishnu Purana. Swamiji says, Here Prahlad's prayers are for undying love and devotion to God, to always remain in his heart through his constant meditation. Swamiji calls this the best definition of bhakti. Swamiji points out that devotion does not kill our tendencies, as it does not go against human nature. People are naturally drawn to the objects of the stances. However, love of God gives this inclination a higher and more powerful direction. The path of bhakti tells us to turn that love for sense objects Godward. This redirection of our innate love of transitory material objects for God is called devotion. Sri Ramakrishna repeatedly explains in the Gospel that the best path for this age is the path of bhakti, as prescribed by the sage Narada. This involves singing the name and glories of the Lord and praying to Him with a longing heart. In the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, a devotee asked the Master, How can I develop love for God? Sri Ramakrishna replied, Repeat his name and sins will disappear. Thus you will destroy lust, anger, the desire for creature comforts and so on. Emphasizing this point further, he says, a poet has compared devotion of God to a tiger. As the tiger devours animals, devotion also swallows up all the enemies of man, such as lust, passion and anger. Once devotion to God is fully awakened, all evil passions are completely destroyed. Lord Krishna is regarded by Hindus as Paramatma, the Supreme Soul, in which all souls merge when they attain moksha. Shri Krishna is the eighth incarnation of Lord Vishnu, and to his devotees he is regarded as the God of love, tenderness, protection and compassion. He is the form of the divine that people can relate to as a son, friend, and protector. We hear stories of Sri Krishna, the mischievous, fun-loving child that captivated the heart of Mother Yashoda, of Krishna, the beloved of the gopis. He is a friend of the great Pandava brothers. He is the protector of Draupadi's honor and a guiding light for the mighty warrior Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. Thus, Sri Krishna inspires great love 
and devotion. Devotees like the blind poet Surdas are all consumed by their devotion to Sri Krishna. Surdas was a 16th century Hindu devotional poet and singer who was known for his poetry written in praise of Krishna. Surdas means humble servant of melody. His compositions glorified and captured his bhakti to the Lord. Surdas was born to a poor Brahmin family in modern-day Haryana and was blind from birth. He was neglected from childhood by his family. This had sown in his mind a feeling of detachment. One day, when he was only six years old, he left home and lived under a peepal tree outside his village. Once, a group of singers came by. Passing through the village, begging for alms and singing the praises of the Lord, they passed by Surdas's house. Surdas followed them. At night, they stopped to cook and rest near a lake. One of them came to Surdas and asked, Why are you following us? I want to learn to sing, answered Surdas. They fed him that night, but did not want to be burdened with the blind boy. In the morning, they left without telling him. Where could blind Surdas go? He sat under the peepal tree and began singing the Lord's praises. He had a good voice and his feelings were expressed with utmost sincerity. Villagers passing by gave him food and he survived. The lake was a popular resting spot for those travelling to Mathura and Vrindavan. From their conversations, Surdas learnt a lot about the outside world. He also developed an affinity for music while listening to groups of singers that passed by. By the age of 14, Surdas developed a keen sixth sense and could predict many things. People were amazed and he was called a miracle boy. If a villager lost an animal, Surdas could tell him where to find it. He was consulted on the appropriate day to travel or start any project. People from other villages travelled a long way to meet him and gave their offerings. One day, the landlord's little toddler wandered off and could not be found anywhere. Surdas predicted where he was and the boy was found. The landlord was so pleased that he fell at Surdas's feet and asked his men to build a cottage for him near the tree under which Surdas stayed. Shortly thereafter, people offered him a stringed instrument to accompany his singing. Some people became his disciples. They began to write down the songs he composed. The disciples loved him and served him to the best of their ability. One night, however, Surdas dreamt of Lord Krishna, calling him to Braj Bhumi, after which his life changed. He met his guru, Sri Vallabhacharya, who asked him to dedicate his life to Lord Krishna. Sri Vallabhacharya popularized the belief that even householders could achieve salvation, which was assumed to only be limited to aesthetics, through bhakti or devotion. Since Surdas could recite the entire Srimad Bhagavatam and was musically inclined, his guru advised him to sing the Bhagavad Lila, devotional lyrical ballads in praise of Lord Krishna and Sri Radha. Surdas lived in Vrindavan with his guru, who initiated him. Surdas was appointed the resident singer at the Srinath temple in Govardhan. One of his most popular songs describes an incident when Sri Krishna playfully tells Mother Yashoda that he is innocent every time she accuses him of stealing butter. 
the song Maya Mori, Me Nehi Ma Kanakayo, has been rendered several times by popular singers and is a much loved bhajan. As his fame spread far and wide, the Mughal Emperor Akbar became his patron. One day, in the court of Emperor Akbar, the court singer Tansen sang one of Surudasa's songs. Akbar was charmed. Tansen admitted that the tune and the lyrics were that of Surdas, the blind devotee of Sri Krishna. Akbar was a broad-minded Muslim and invited Surdas to his court. Surdas declined, saying, I am so very honoured, but I sing only in the court of my beloved Sri Krishna. When Akbar heard this, he gladly came to Surdas and listened to his devotional songs in the temple. He was very pleased and told Surdas to ask for anything he wanted. Surdas said, Just do not ask me to go to your court and sing. Akbar agreed. There are several stories about Surdas's devotion to Sri Krishna. A famous episode narrates his ability to describe the murthy of Sri Krishna as it was. Vital Nathji, the son of Vallabhacharya, wanted to test him. He asked his son, Giridhara Lalji, to dress the murthy of Sri Krishna only in a garland of pearls. Surda saw the image in his mind's eye and burst out laughing on seeing Sri Krishna bereft of clothing. He instantly made up a bhajan and started singing. After this incident, everyone was convinced of his unique ability to see his beloved Lord, although he could see nothing else. Another story tells of how Surdas fell into a well. He earnestly prayed to Sri Krishna for help and was miraculously brought out. At the same time, Sri Radha was also by Krishna's side. Surdas grasped her anklets. Radha requested him to let go of her anklets. Surdas said that being blind, he could not ascertain the truth of her identity. Lord Krishna blessed him with vision and he had the darshan of both of them. After that, Sri Krishna asked Surdas to ask for a boon. Surdas said, O oh Lord, I prefer to remain blind, especially since I have seen you. I do not wish to see anything else now. May you alone live in my heart and mind. We see how Surdas's love for Sri Krishna surpassed everything, even his desire for sight. Such was his unparalleled devotion. During the suspicious period of Gita week, May the ever-compassionate Lord bless us with eternal devotion to his lotus feet. Om Namo Narayanaya Om Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kamsachanoiramardhanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum Om Atha Panchadasho Adhyaya Purushottama Yoga Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Orthamulam Atha Shakham Ashvatham Prahur Avyayam Chandam Siyasya Paranani Yastam Veda Saveda Vit Adhas Chortham Prasritas Tasya Shakha Guna Pravritha Vishaya Pravala Adhas Chamulani Anusantatani Karmanu Bandhini Manushya Loke 
नूपमसोपलभ्यते नो न चादीर्न चंप्रतिष्ठा अश्वत्थमेन सुविरूढ़मूल असंग शस्त्रेन दृढ़ेन चिवा तथा पदम तत्परीत यस्वर्तंती भूय तमे चाध्यम पुषं प्रपथ्ये यथ प्रवृत्ति प्रसृता पुराणी निर्माण मोहा जित संग दोषा अध्यात्म निया विनिवृत्त कामा द्वंदेर्मुक्ता सुख दुख संज्ञे गूढ़ा पदम अव्यय तत् न तत्सयते सूर्य न शाको न पावक यवर्तंते तम ममेवांशो जीवलोके जीवभूत सनातन मन ष्टाद्रिया प्रकृतिस्था कर्षति शरीर यदवाती यछाप्युत्क्रामतीश्वर गृहता संयाती वायुर्गंधा वाशया स्त्रोत्र चक्षुस्पर्शन च रसन घ्राणम चिष्ठा मनश्चा विषयान्पसेवते उत्क्राम स्थित वापी भुंजान वागुणावित विमूानुपश्य पश्य ज्ञानचक्षुष यतंतो योगिश्चन पश्यत्यात्मस्थित यतंतोप्यकृता नयन पश्यत यदागत तेजो जगद्भासयते खिल यद्रमसी यच्छाघन तत्जो विधिमाक गाश्य चूता धारयाम्यहम ओजसा पुष्णा चौषधी सर्वा सोमो भूतवासात्मक अहम वैश्वानरो भूवा प्राणीं देहमाश्रित प्राणापान सयुक्त पचाम चुर्विधम सर्व चाह हृदय सन्निष्ट मत स्मृतिर्ज्ञानमोहन च वेदेशमे वेद्यो वेदात वेद विदेवचा द्वा विमो पुषो लोके क्षरश्चाक्षर एव क्षर सर्वा भूता कूटस्थोक्षर उच्य उत्तम पुषस्वन परमात्मेदारित यो लोकत्रश्य बिभर्त्य व्यय ईश्वर यस्माक्षरम अतीतोहम अक्षरादि चोत्तम अतस्मी लोके वेदे च प्रथित पुषोत्तम यो मेवं असमूो जानाती पुषोत्तम स सर्विदजती मर्वेन भारत गुह्यतम शास्त्र मुक्त मैन घुद्वा बुद्धिमा सैद 
कृत कृत्यश्च भारत ओ तत्सत्मद्भगवद्गीता सुपनिषत्सु ब्रह्म विद्यायाम योगशास्त्रे श्रीकृष्णाजुन संवाद पुषोत्तम योगो नाम पंचदशोध्याय ओ शांति 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 अच्युतम केशव राम नारायण कृष्ण दामोदर वासुदेव हरि श्रीधर माधव गोपिका वल्लभ Ki kunja 
Namo Narayanaya, dear sisters and brothers. We learn much about devotion to God through the lives of saints and devotees who inspire us Godward. The Lord is in everyone's heart and comes to our aid when we call upon him. In chapter 9 of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Those persons who worship me alone, thinking of none other, who are ever devout, to them I carry what they lack and preserve what they already have. I am the same to all beings. To me, there is none hateful, none dear. But those who worship me with devotion, they are in me and I am also in them. May Shri Krishna Bless us with divine knowledge and fill our hearts with devotion to him. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Swami Ji Ki Jai Sarvarishi Muniyor Ki Jai Parvati Patay Hara Hara Mahadeva Ki Jai Shri Krishna Kanyaya 